Fora TV. Idea Immersion. Visit us at www.fora.tv. Christianity as the way, and I don't mean that in the sense of Christian exclusivism, but for Christians, Christianity is the way, and what that means is that it is a path. Let me briefly tell you a story to illustrate this point. Um, I fly a lot. Last week I hit a million real miles on the airline that I use most. And for me, flying is about R&R. It's about rest and reading, <laughs> okay? And so I assiduously seek to avoid conversations with the person sitting next to me. I try not to be rude, but I don't want to give them much of an inroad, because you sometimes get a chatty person there, you know. And I was actually reading uh, Houston Smith's book, Why Religion Matters, on a flight a couple years ago. And the woman sitting next to me looked at the title of the book and said, Oh, you're interested in religion. And I said, yeah, you know. And, um, and then she said, oh, she said, I, I'm, I'm very interested in Buddhism and Sufism because they're both about a way. But I, I don't have much interest in Christianity because it's all about believing. Now, I understood her point immediately, even as I silently disagreed with it. For most modern Western Christians, believing is at the very center of what it means to be Christian, and you either believe or you don't. That's a modern emphasis once again. The earliest name for Christianity in the New Testament, Acts 9-1, followers of the way. And of course, that's a cross-cultural, indeed archetypal religious image. Buddhism is about a way. Um, Tao de, the, the Tao is the way, and so forth and so forth. And so Christianity also is about a way, a path of transformation. And that path has two dimensions to it, equally important in the Bible. One is a personal dimension. It's about personal transformation. New Testament imagery for that is it's about dying and rising with Christ understood as a metaphor for an internal process of transformation. It's about being born again, entering into a new identity and a new way of being. And secondly, this transformation is also, to use a word that's not on the handout, political. It's about the transformation of the world. And this is expressed in the New Testament in Jesus' message with the centrality of the phrase, the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is what life would be like on earth if God were king and the rulers of this world were not. And the kingdom of God is for the earth. Lord's prayer, thy kingdom come on earth. Or to use the most famous verse in the New Testament to make that point, for God so loved the world doesn't say, for God so loved me, or God so loved us, or God so loved the church, or God so loved the elect, or God so loved Christians. God so loved the world, which I hear as including not only all of human beings, but the non-human world as well. And once one sees Christianity as a way, it means that practice, which means paying attention to the reality of God and our relationship with God. It means that practice, not believing, is central. Last comment as I leave the third point. The way is symbolized within Christianity preeminently by the cross. The cross as the path of personal transformation, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Words from Paul. And the cross also as the symbol of confrontation with the powers that rule this world. The cross is both personal and political.